Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm part of South Location and it is my privilege to bring today's devotion. We have been focusing on mission over these last few weeks. What is mission? Really the question is what is God's mission? His mission is that all will have an opportunity to hear the good news of Christ and respond to his love, grace and mercy. It is quite simple but very often we make it way too complicated. As a Christian, I am called to ensure that those around me have an opportunity to know more about the love of Christ. If I keep the second greatest commandment and love my neighbour as myself, then I will be desperate for others to know the love of Christ. Matthew 22, verse 37 to 40. But we need to look beyond our narrow horizon to see what else we can do for God's mission. We might not be called to go overseas, may never have the resources to even do an audacious mission trip in the UK, but we are still called to mission so that all men may be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2 verse 4. When we look through scripture, especially the New Testament, we see that only a few were chosen to go. Paul, Barnabas, Timothy, the 72 in Luke chapter 10. But there were still others at home, still on mission. The disciples, the church in Antioch, Acts 13, still had their own role to play. So what is our role beyond fulfilling the second greatest commandment? What is our mission for God? What are we doing for God that allows others to know more of his love for them? There are many in our own nation that still haven't heard about the love of Christ. These are beyond my immediate neighbours and so we need to purposely reach out, extend ourselves and deploy ourselves in areas that may be outside of our own comfort zone, but are certainly not outside of God's. So what could we do? Within our own church, there are many opportunities to serve those in need and meet people who may not have anyone else who can tell them of the love of Christ. We have eight teams in the various campuses and locations. You can volunteer to help out once a week or once a month. Help the Audacious Foundation Macmillan team by supporting someone with cam cancer. Support a local family through the Safe Families Scheme. Taking in refugees. There are many non-Christian Ukrainians in our locality whose homes for Ukraine placement are coming to an end and they are struggling to find somewhere else to live. There's the schools programmes. There are all of the various audacious mission trips next year. Speak to someone in the Audacious Foundation or in the missions team to find out what you can do. Remember 1 Peter 4 verse 10, each one of you should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. As with the second commandment, this is an instruction, not a choice. We are all called to faithfully administer God's grace in its various forms. I hope you find an opportunity to serve others. Have a great day.